morning guys and welcome to today's vlog. We are starting off the vlog at 10.43 a.m. Cove is napping, we just finished up breakfast and I actually filmed a little like morning routine on my IGTV this morning. So that should be up when you guys see this. But right now, since Cove is napping, you guys can see Parker in here. Oh wait, no he's not in there. Where is he? What are you doing? Oh, he's in the bathroom. I was gonna say he's in here getting some work done But while Cove is sleeping, I wanted to go up and I actually need to put my tennis shoes on I'm not even prepared, but wanted to go in here and use our new treadmill It has Parker stuff on it from when he used it I think that was last night, but we showed you guys this last week. It is from Nordic track They're sponsoring this vlog and I'm so excited to use this today. Okay, I got my shoes on so this is treadmill that we have is the Nordic Track commercial 2950 commercial treadmill. So it's really, really nice. It has this nice big screen up here. It also has a fan, which I love. And then it also has Bluetooth audio, which is really nice. Here's like buttons for incline speed, start, stop, and like your speaker buttons and stuff. And then we signed up for their iFit program. This has like a ton of different workouts you can do, which I love because when I get on a treadmill, I'm like, I don't know what to do for a good workout. So I want to be guided. And then it also tracks your stats right here so it has your time distance calories burned elevation gain your pace and it also will make recommendations for you based on your goals and everything they have this safety clip so I'm gonna clip this on and also we have the family plan so you can see it says high Aspen right here so you can have up to five users so Parker has his own too so I'm gonna do this Croatia one so it shows you like all the info and everything and then it also will like adjust if there's hills in this it will automatically adjust to kind of like be moving up and down for the incline all right, I click start, we're going, and I'm gonna get a workout in. break so I was recording and I don't want to record for like 30 full minutes but I am so excited that we have this treadmill if you guys didn't watch our vlog where we got it delivered it was like a couple months ago I was talking to my manager and I was like I really want to work with Nordic track and then they like randomly reached out a few weeks later so I feel like it was a sign so excited for this sponsorship so you guys can click the link in the description to get your first Nordic track complete with their iFit personal trainers which are amazing this Croatia run is seriously so fun I've been wanting to go to Croatia but obviously I'm not going anywhere for a little bit so getting to do the run through the town is super super cool we are planning on moving this we've told you guys like 50 times we're planning on getting our basement finished hopefully soon ish we don't really know when but we are going to move the treadmill downstairs as soon as that's done so we can kind of have like our full gym set up but why am i so out of breath i didn't even go that hard for that long <laughs> i need to get back into shape i used to like run on the treadmill like that like multiple times a week so i'm really excited that we have this thanks again to nordic track i'm gonna finish my workout shower and then get Kobe up from her nap all right so so, a couple hours later, I was gonna say I'm showered and ready for the day, but I realized I didn't actually even get ready. Usually I only get ready one day a week on Tuesdays because that's my filming day. So if we have anything that we need to shoot, like my main channel video or any sponsor stuff, whatever, we always shoot it on Tuesday. I do need to shoot an Instagram picture for our treadmill up there, but I don't know if I'm gonna actually like, do my hair and makeup and stuff. Are you hanging out, sis? But right now I'm just eating some lunch. Really? For lunch, we almost always have leftovers of dinner the night before. So well, last night we made this pasta. So here's Parker's little leftovers, but we use cauliflower to make like vegan Alfredo sauce. And then we just have some veggies and stuff and some chickpea noodles. Everything is a disaster. I cleaned this morning. I got up before Cove and like cleaned up a bunch of stuff. Then somehow it gets so messy again. So as soon as she goes down for another nap, I'm gonna clean up again. We just eat and some lunch. You wanna eat some too? I just got a package of some new stuff. I'm gonna show you guys. Are you showing them your new phone? Found this cute website that has like cute baby stuff. She also has her new little puppy she got for Easter. Let's get you some lunch though, okay? So, one of the things that I got for Cove from this website, I'll link this stuff all down below. I have been waiting for these and they were like sitting out in our garage. We didn't realize what this was and we've been trying to let our packages like sit for a few days. And if I had known it was this, I would have opened it even sooner because I have been waiting for these. Cove gets so messy when she eats. I love these silicone bibs that we have that have the pocket on them because it catches all the food, but her whole body like gets messy and we usually just have her eat in her diaper. And then after she eats, we like put her in the sink and 
then basically wash off her entire body because she gets so messy. So I was looking online for these like smock bib things. I ordered a pack of two. I cannot go another meal where I have to give her a full on bath after. We're gonna try out your new bib. Oh my goodness. Yeah, girl. Time for the true test, but it looks like this thing will be really nice. Nothing's dirty except you're facing your hands instead of your whole body. Want some water? You show them how you can pick up a cup. Good job. Oh, that might be a little full. Good job, though. Set Whoa. it down gentle. Nice. Do you want more? No. <laughs> oh, good job. Good job, baby sis. Do you want more? All right. Good job. Good job, baby. Good job. You all done? Oh, you're still going for another noodle. Oh, nope. Look at those skills. You're getting so good. That was so good for her to pick that up. That wasn't even a whole noodle. That was like a flat piece and she picked it up like this. As they like get better at eating and baby lead weaning and stuff, they learn to like pick stuff up like this is the palmer grasp, I think, and then this is the pincer grasp. So this is like such a good fine motor skill for babies mm -hmm. to learn. Good she job. just did it again. You're with the so freaking smart. I can't believe it. So smart, girl. So smart. All right, you finished that, and then we're gonna take your bib off and see if you're clean. I'll show you guys the rest of what I got in a little mini haul while she's finishing her food. So first thing I got her, cute little play phone. I thought maybe she would like this because she always tries to get our phones and the remote. She's not gonna think this is as good as those, but I thought it was really cute. So she was having fun chewing on that earlier. And then I'm really excited about these plates that I got. So I saw these on their website. Probably Probably I honestly won't use these for a while because she either doesn't use a plate because we just put everything on her high chair or she'll use like a little bowl but it is the one that like sticks to the high chair so she can't move it. So I don't know when I'll actually have her use plates but I did want to have because we have our like big heavy glass ones. I don't want her to have those in case she like breaks it or cracks it or something. So I found these plates. They come in a set of six and the colors are so cute. They had a bunch of different ones and the quality is so nice too. So I thought these were like the perfect size for her when she's a little bit bigger and they're also i don't know if you guys can read that but it says they're sustainable and eco-friendly so that'll be really nice so i got her plates i want to see if they have bowls i don't know why i didn't get bowls they must not have them or maybe when i was shopping i just wasn't paying attention but i definitely should get some bowls too so i have a matching set but they also had these spoons so cute so the spoons are the same colors and they're made of bamboo yeah got six spoons and then i also got her some cups for when she's bigger i want to have her own little like drawer or cabinet where she has like her dishes so that when she's older like maybe two or you know however old i don't know but i can say okay like it's time for dinner go get your little stuff so you can set up your dinner spot and so she can just go into her little cabinet get herself a plate or a bowl a cup spoons so i want her to have her own little like set of this stuff this was perfect so i have six of these cups all in the same colors i already showed these two like little smock bib things i have but those also came in a bunch of colors and then i got these little silicone straws they're so cute they had a bunch of colors of these too so i thought she would like to play with these she loves like this texture of stuff like babies like to chew on it and it comes with a little like cleaning brush too i want to teach her how to drink out of a straw but i don't know how if anyone has any tips let me know but i need to just like google it the last thing i got it was just a fun little extra. They have this cute hat. And I like these hats for her because they keep the sun out of their eyes so good. I think they also had this in like a raincoat or something. So I'll link that website down below. But there's a little mini haul of what I got for my little BB. All right, the true test. How messy are you? Oh my goodness. This is going to literally change our life. Oh my goodness. Did you look clean? You're so clean. We just gotta wipe your hands and your face instead of your whole body. That would be so nice. And then we just have to, this is still a mess. This is much better than having to literally like, she would have it like all over. She would always have it all over her diaper, all over her legs, all over her entire body. Okay, it's 1.40. We still have the giant mess, but Coke goes down for a nap at two. So I'm gonna play with her for a minute and I wanna see if she'll crawl. She crawled on Easter officially for like the first time. She was like actually going and not like far for a long time, but she's been getting up on her, knees and she does like a plank like a lot but she'll get up on her knees like that or like all the way up on her feet like this she's been doing that for a couple weeks now and she actually officially like moved forward and crawled on easter so that was really exciting so i want to see if she'll do it again today can you do it 
Can you crawl to mama? Should we set up the camera and see if he'll come? She's been going backwards for a while, but she actually like went forwards. So let's see. <gasps> come get the camera, baby. Good job, babe. Good job. Bye. Look at all these pinkies. They're freshly washed. Look, yeah. you want a pinky. Oh my goodness. Come to it, girl. Come to it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at all these pinkies. You want to get pinky? Oh my you goodness. Get Look at all those pinkies. <gasps> Come on, come on. I feel like she's like having a hard time. She's sliding down on the wood. Oh, is that slobber? I was like, what's on the carpet? <gasps> Good job. job! One more time. Oh my gosh, she's like going forward. Come on. Keep going, keep going. You're doing it. You're doing it. Keep going. No, 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 no. You're doing so good. She's okay. a cruiser now. Go get those beans. Oh my goodness, you're crawling. That's so exciting, it's so scary. You are such a big girl. You get it, you can have it. <gasps> you can oh have it, girl. Oh my goodness. Good job. Good job. Wow. Baby crawl. She's so Baby big. Baby proofing vlog coming soon. All right, she's going at it again. Put the binkies right here. You're going, girl. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. You're crawling. Good job. You guys should comment down below. If you have kids, what should we do for baby proofing? I was kind of looking into it a little bit the other day. I want to order some outlet covers. I know those are good so babies can't be like sticking their fingers in anything. We also need to go around and bolt the rest of our furniture to the walls. We have this mirror bolted so it can't like tip over on her. But we need to do like this and we could do the mirror in our room. What else? Probably like our TV stand. Like are you supposed to bolt like everything? Because you don't want them to be able to like tip it over, right? Her dresser we can do. There's probably only like one or two. Mm. There's probably more if I actually like went around the house and thought about it. I was gonna say there's probably only a couple cabinets that actually have like cleaning supplies and stuff in them that she could get to. Obviously I need some like cabinet lock things. I'll probably go around and move a few things higher up. Need a cabinet lock for like Luma's food and treats and stuff. We also need to start putting Luma's food up once she can actually like move around more. I know some people do that thing where they like feed their dogs at certain times a day, which we should do because Luma likes to be right up by us when we're eating our food and she's so cute that I usually can't resist and I give her a bite so then she keeps coming back but I know a lot of people will like feed their dogs when they sit down to eat and so the dog like gets their food for the day or like however many times you're supposed to do it when we got a trainer for Luma he said that was a good idea but I feel like it's sad for her to like not be able to eat like what if she's hungry and she doesn't have her food I don't know so we got a lot of stuff that we need to figure out we'll have to do a baby proofing vlog soon so if anyone has any tips on what we should do definitely let me know Going upstairs. I need to take my Instagram picture for Nordic Track. So, got this outfit on, have some workout stuff. I'm gonna set it up to make it look cute. Those pictures that we just took to my management. I don't even have an Instagram post for this deal. Wait, really? Yeah, they were like, what is this? I'm like, what's this for? I just have some stories, but yeah, so we just took all those pics and I didn't need to, but it's okay. In order to track, let me know if you wanna do part two of this deal and we'll <laughs> do an Instagram. Anyways, I have like four minutes until Cove is supposed to wake up from her nap. I wanted to paint my nails, so maybe I'll wake her up like 10 or 15 minutes late and paint them. I also forgot we have what did Parker filmed yesterday, a grocery haul for you guys because we noticed in the comments that you guys are loving his grocery hauls. So he can put that footage in right now. 
Back by popular demand, we've got the grocery haul with Parker. I just got back from the grocery store and I got some groceries. There are a few new things that I didn't get last time. So I'll show you guys what I got. As always, Doritos, the party size. I got my eggs. I got two things of milk. Kale. What did you need the kale for? I got kale. That's new. We never get kale. I got baby spinach which we always get. Corn on the cob, bread. This is our favorite bread. It's um, Dave's killer bread. It's really good. I got, they're out of the regular tortilla chips we get. Yeah, so I got these Tostino's scoops and I got just regular ones. I got cherry tomatoes, Aspen's request. Oh, that's for a pasta we're making this week. We got more bananas, baby oranges, strawberries, raspberries. We also don't have a strainer that's like this type that is for like super small, like for instance, uh, what is it? Quinoa. We gotta drain our, or strain our quinoa. And the strainers that we have, the holes are too big so it just goes right through. So I got this strainer. I found dairy-free, unsweetened, plain yogurt for Aspen, but I had to get a big size because it's the only one they had. I got honey, lemon pepper. That's something new that we don't usually get for one of the recipes we're having this week. Extra firm tofu for Aspen. Some Neosporin for my uh, finger situation. Couple cans of diced tomatoes. Some almond butter, some peanut butter, some nail polish remover for Aspen and this nail polish remover is for nail strengthening. It's got vitamin E and stuff like that. Aspen's got really brittle, very fragile nails. So I thought this one would be good. Our favorite queso dip, frozen berries. I got pepper jack, cheese for, cause I'm gonna have turkey sandwiches. I got broccoli. I got turkey for the turkey sandwiches. Some onions, some squash, some zucchini. Also, they aren't letting us use our reusable bags. So that's why we are still using their plastic. Last bag, I got some cauliflower. I got some avocados or avocado toast or avocado bagels. I got some red bell peppers some sweet potatoes, some lemons, and a small bag of baby carrots. And that's everything I got. Thanks again for tuning in to this week's episode of Parker's Grocery Haul, and we'll see you in the next one. All right, guys, so this is what we have going on for dinner right now. I finally got out this thing my mom got us for Christmas. It's a potastic. It's like a multifunctional pressure cooker thing. So I found this recipe on Pinterest for curry, quinoa, sweet potato, something. So I'm trying to make it, and I'm confused because I've never used one of these before. I feel like everything is happening really fast, and so I'm pretty sure I'm already ruining it. Okay, I need to add my spices. I need to add curry powder. It says 1.25 teaspoons. That's specific. Then I'm gonna do paprika, half a teaspoon. Then add it. It also says half a teaspoon of cumin. My nails are literally like so brittle that I still cannot open them. Getting some cumin in there. Um, okay, wait. I'm so confused. Is this even on now? There's like also no liquid in here. It doesn't say to. Okay, so then I'm gonna add chickpeas, rinsed and drained, sweet potato, which I still need to chop really fast. It says to put the sweet potato in big pieces because in a pressure cooker it gets mushy if you put it in small ones. Sticking these in. Oh, it reminds me of India. It's funny how the smell of curry just reminds me of India. I think that that is the one food that is like- In your memory? Reminds me or reminds you of a place. Yeah. Like, I don't eat pasta or pizza and think of Italy. Yeah. And I don't eat French fries and think of Paris. Yeah. You know? But Comment. I instantly am like brought right back to India when I smell curry. Yeah. Comment down below if you were watching our vlogs when we went to India. Okay, I cut up one potato. It said two, and this is looking pretty full. So I'm only gonna do one. It smells kind of burnt. I'm also supposed to do a red pepper. It says a whole one, but I think I am gonna do half. I also have a giant mess. Usually I try to like clean up as I go, but this is just like stressful. But I needed to use this because we got it for Christmas and we still haven't used it. And I always see recipes on Pinterest that are like pretty pressure cooker recipes that look really good. So hopefully it's good. It also says it cooks in one minute if I didn't already say that, which I am skeptical of. Putting in my bell pepper. This literally looks so burnt. I don't know what to do. Okay, add water, salt, and close the lid. So how much water do I do? One and a half cups. One half. Mixing it up. Smells really yummy. So now I put the lid. Put that on. Put it there. Yeah, slide it that way. Now it's on. Okay, press the manual or pressure cook button. Cook on high pressure for one minute. There is no way this is gonna cook anything. The timer is automatically set to 18, so I feel like going down to one is definitely not gonna work. It's not doing anything. I don't know what to do. 
Okay, I think it's going, but I also did a test earlier. It came with like a quick reference guide and said to do a test and you just put water in here and like let it steam to make sure it works. And it said set the timer for two minutes, which I did, but then no timer ever like went off. And so it went for longer than two minutes. So I'm just kind of confused on what it does now. It doesn't like show a timer on here. It says preheating. So I don't know, we'll see, I guess. Okay, so it just changed to this. So it says one minute. So again, I'm not convinced. Maybe this is like common pressure cooker knowledge that Steph cooks that fast, but I just haven't ever used one, so I didn't know that. I hope it's really good though, because it's already six and I am so hungry and I don't want to have to cook something else after this if it doesn't work. Should we make like sweet potato fries or something? I have the sweet potato that we didn't use. If this is bad, plan B, sweet potato fries. It just beeped because one minute is very fast. There is no freaking way that a sweet potato is cooked in here. Okay, how do I, uh, am I dumb? Babe, will you help me open it? <gasps> Careful. No, don't touch that. Don't touch that, babe, don't touch that. All the, those stickers say don't touch it. Are you supposed Wait. to release it? No, it like... said let it do it naturally, but it never did. So should I do that and let it out? I mean, I guess. I think that that's the vent, because if I were to open it, it would go boom, and then launch out the top. Oh. Cook on high pressure for one minute, let the pressure release naturally. So I guess that's switching it to that. Okay, I think it is maybe done now. Okay, what? Um. <laughs> I don't know. The sweet potatoes are like kind of soft, but not all the way through. I did cut them in big chunks, but that's because this like really emphasized cutting them in big chunks. I feel like the king was only like 80% done too. I don't know what to do now. We will cook it for one more minute? I don't know. All right, well, Parker just got the lid off after I jammed it. And I had to break it. To get... We got a screaming baby. I think that this thing is, is just like to protect like guard that it's not important i'm scared this could like explode and kill us okay well if anyone uh has any advice for us on this let me know i don't even think i'm gonna try to i don't know what to do i don't know yeah i don't know i think i'm gonna end the vlog here try and figure out what to do for dinner hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to check out nordic track link down below thanks again to them for sponsoring this video so that's all for today we'll see you guys in the next vlog <laughs>